hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to place uh, google markers inside the google maps and i will be showing you how to search for any sort of google places using google autocomplete inside angular 13 application so basically you will see this is the application which we will be building in this tutorial so you will see that there is a search box so if you type any sort of address here this autocomplete will be showing to you so all the places inside the world it will be showing you so if you just select any sort of address here and then it will automatically put the pointer at the particular location that you have selected you can see that it has placed place the marker the red marker you can also remove this marker by clicking this remove button so that the marker will be removed so once again if you pick the location let's suppose now you will see that at pinpoint location it will place this marker at this location you will see that and also you can uh, drag the ma map also uh, to see the whole location you can also put the in in full mode in uh, full screen mode so this is kind of this application you can change this to satellite so we are doing this inside angular 13 and we are using the google places autocomplete api and also we are using google maps api to render out this map so we are we need to use the google api key for doing this process so i will be showing you step by step process on how to integrate it inside our angular 13 application so this is very easy and uh, you will be able to search for any sort of address which is available inside so just put the address and it will pinpoint this marker at that particular location that you have selected you will see that so this is the location that you have selected and it has put the pointer here this is a marker rectangular marker and it has highlighted that place so this is very much necessary in each and every application so basically it will give you more information about the address that you have selected it's a district you will see it's a locality administrative name city name state code country code it will also show you country name also and uh, you can see that all this information will be fetched from the api and it will be displayed on the screen so we will try to build out this application i have given all the source code in the video description this is my blog post i have written here so if you want to download all the source code you can go to the video description link to download all the source code so step by step instruction is given to you and all the source code is given so you will see that app.module.ts file and uh, this is the app.component.html and this is the app.component.ts so these are the three files which is necessary for this project and also we are using external service to connect to the google places autocomplete api and also render out the address on the actual map so this is the actual service code so these are the four files which are necessary for this application and uh, this is deployed on this url so simply click it and uh, you will be able to see this simply search it so here first of all guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel and uh, now to build out this application it is very simple i have shown you the example let me summarize the code for you so basically here you need to copy paste the api key for your project so you need to go to your google cloud console account so wherever you are creating this so you need to be having that uh, google cloud console account simply search google cloud console and uh, just go to your project and uh, you need to verify it using credit card so once you are verified go to the google maps platform and you need to get the api key for this project so simply go to your credentials and simply click on create credentials go to the api key simply copy this api key that it gives you so don't copy my api key just create your own api key and simply paste it so once again if you search it it will once again work you will see that so after this guys now we are simply inside the service we are 
api.service.ts file we are simply interacting with the api we are creating a dynamic script element and inside this we are uh, just uh, creating this appending it to the body like this so here we are calling the actual api so it's a version 3 api and we are passing the api key and we are calling the google places api and uh, this is the address you will see that we are passing the api key also like this so this is all the api.service.ts code coming back to the app.component.html file so here you will see this is the actual input field so where you put the location where you want to search for the location this is the autocomplete field so you will see search for the location so you will see so whenever you s type any sort of location here it is captured using this search parameter which is attached to it and inside this div we are populating this whole map so we have given it a class of map and lastly we are using the for loop and we are displaying all the details inside this and we have a simple button here to remove the uh, marker after that it will display all these details which is mentioned inside this which is the longitude name short name types so all this coming back to app.component.ts code so this is the actual code for this application here we have configured all the colors so you can add more colors here after that we are getting the locations you will see that we are initializing it the autocomplete whenever something the place has been changed this function will trigger it will get the place which the user has entered first of all we will initialize the map we can pass the zoom level to accordingly you can pass it to 9 as well so the zoom will be increased here you will see that so it when you can play with the zoom value accordingly pass so when you click the map what will happen it will zoom in you will see that so all these methods are there so whenever the place is changed we will put the center at that location and we will put a marker so in order to put a marker we will get the uh, position put an animation put the icon like this this is a rectangle so i have given all the source code guys in the video description so please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video